Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. See this crack in the driveway? This is what we're addressing today. Well, we got a few inches of lots of snow and tons and tons of wind. Uh, we had some cracks in the driveway, stress cracks. When this driveway was poured, you can see there's big sections, no expansion joints um, at the rate that they should have been. Now, for the most part, uh, these trees are all new. They've only been here since I own the house. They were all baby trees that were added. There was a small tree there that was only this big when I bought the place, and the sidewalk is in good shape as far as that goes. So the roots of this tree could have caused some cracking um, in addition to not having expansion joints and a little bit of upheaving. There used to be a tree right back here on the side of the house before I owned it, and we had uh, replaced some uh, eaves trough damage from that. So I know that this cracking and the way it has settled has happened from that. So we watch a really good YouTube channel. His name is Mike Haddock. We have a neighbor that worked as a mason for many years. And with a little bit of instruction and what we already knew, we know that we can fix this up so that it's all like a brushed concrete and then you won't see all these cracks anymore. For the most part, um, it runs downhill. Right here, it kind of runs towards the house and here, and that is where a little bit of leveling kind of comes in handy. Most of this water here has been a corner uh, eaves trough seam that is leaking. So in a day or two, we're supposed to get a few days of 43 degree weather. We're going to address that. So for today, I wanted to get the snow off of it, get the sun shining on what is left of the cracks, and then we'll power wash the whole thing and start repairing it. So after a day of power washing, everything out here, all the cracks have been cleaned out. Most of the ice melted through the day. I ended up finding some extra holes where some rock chunks came out. A long, long time ago, I tried some asphalt sealer stuff in a caulking tube. Most of that was able to blow out. I'll have to go through and try to pry out some of the other pieces, but this was supposed to be like an elasto uh, something finish. Supposed to be more of a small crack uh, type deal than this, but it did help with any trip and fall hazards over the year. Now, I probably did that 15, 16 years ago. So you can see lots and lots of unevenness here. And the word that I was lacking before was Portland cement. So we're gonna fill the cracks with concrete, Portland cement as much of the driveway as he would like to do. And you won't even be able to tell the difference and it'll look like an all new driveway up to here where this was a new driveway at one point from the city approach being done. So we're looking much better. Well, it's early, early morning. The sun is just starting to come up. I got to be one of the first shoppers at our local supply store. I know you can't read that with a blur, but I'm at Menards. I've got 360 pounds of quick setting concrete mix here. Actually, it's general purpose, it's not quick. And then here in the back, We've got air ride suspension with airbags in the back. So I put the 80 pound uh, mortar mix here and I got the S type. I didn't realize yesterday I was using N type, which is fine because it's for non load bearing. So one on each side, I'm taking the little kids with me today. So we've got the equivalent of having the whole family in the car anyway. Just distribute your weight if you're using your car. Now I know some of you might be saying that's way too much weight for that car, but I was doing a little math while I was driving and the weight that in, is in the trunk is about the weight a little bit more than what my two teenage boys weigh and the weight in the back seat is slightly more than what my tween age boy weighs. So we're probably about 50 to you know maybe 80 pounds more than what those three boys weigh together. And they're all staying home today to do some schoolwork and things like that. So um, we're not gonna be far away and they're gonna be working and we're gonna be working and everything's gonna be great. Now I called for pricing to have this driveway totally redone with new concrete a few years ago. 
and I had asked them about just cutting um, new sections so that we had some expansion joints and they didn't want to do that they wanted to do a total tear out and it really worried me about doing a tear out that close to the house in the section where it's so bad and um, at the time I'd say 10 years ago they said $3,500 so two or three years went by and I called them back and I said, hey, you know, could you come and requote this? Um, actually, I said come and quote this. I never said that, you know, I had had it previously quoted. And I called a couple of different companies. I mean, it was kind of all over the place um, in pricing. And of course, you know, people get paid more, so it would only be more now. At that time, I think it was fifty-five to $6,500. And of course, you know, kind of gets into the situation of, well, how much are we going to get into? Well, they wanted to start tearing into the sidewalk. And I said, no, the sidewalk doesn't need done. There wasn't an unlevel or a crack anywhere in it. So at this point, you know, it's just like the roof. You call them out to quote the roof, they say $10,000. That's nuts. I'm not going to refinance anything to be able to fix some cracks in the driveway. I just checked out at Menards. This stuff was, um, like six and ten dollars a bag I'll have to look at the receipt but anyways I spent you know like 50 bucks so a day's labor and we're gonna be all set can't you work not on your knees you want a floor mat from the car I was squatting just like I did when I did the insulation I thought this is gonna start hurting my legs Now here they've done an expansion joint from this section to here, but it's shifted and has been moving downhill. It's really wide here, so we dug out the dirt there, and here it's pinched. So there has been some ground movement uh, over time, but you can see we went through again with the power washer and got a few more inches of dirt out of here the best that we could and some of it's still frozen here this is real deep we've already mixed up one bag of concrete and filled in some of the wider gaps in the front that's mostly going to be the s mortar he says the s mortar has portland uh, in it which makes it really good for the portland finish that we're going to do and it's stronger than that yellow bag i think it said n So he says this will eventually find its own crack, but right now it's just why well, have a trip hazard when you can just fill it in and, you know. There's little kids on the way and we don't want them falling. Yep. So they can redo the drive later when they have money if they want, but for now. Yeah. We're not fixing the driveway. Making it safer. Yep. Making it safer, making it look a little better patched up. And it'll... It'll be good for a while. There's no trees here to shift it anymore. I mean, this tree will get bigger over, over the years, but, you know, these days, people do uh, a lot of blacktop over concrete. This tree's mostly all concrete, now that I think about it. The nice thing about a gravel driveway. No maintenance. Little yearly patchings and fill-ins. Getting there. Just wanted to show it does make a difference what you buy. The stuff from Menards has a high uh, stone content to it. We bought six bags of that and we knew we weren't going to have enough this crack here and this one was exceptionally deep so we ran to home depot and they have quick wheat quick wheat brand 60 pound bags also it was about a quarter more uh a lot no comparison none i mean here's the stone and the menard stuff yeah and then right here you see just teeny tiny so this crack was still holding a good amount of water 
So he's just putting it in dry and kind of mixing it in this way. Yeah, it's going to end up being fine. There's a lot of water. Like when you do a mailbox, you know, and you just add the water to the hole. It's going to kind of be like that. Um, he says it'll be less strength, which once we're out of here, there won't be any big heavy trucks pulling up on here. stuff for the little cracks yeah so let's I'm gonna get me some water okay mix up some more so yeah we'll be able to do these smaller cracks that yeah. we weren't oh, able yeah. to do this with the stuff from Menards yeah that's good and that's that great I wish I would have had a little bit more of the tough stuff for down there yeah but well you got to work with what you got and that's what we do so yeah we can fill these in instead that'd be great Well, we've been hard at work. 10 bags of concrete. We've got three on reserve at the car. The thinner stuff worked really good for filling in the small cracks. Right through here. And then this will dry for a little bit. We'll take a break for some lunch maybe and start doing the finish over the top. Okay, we're a good portion through our Portland cement painting that we're doing on it. And the key to this is you have to get your uh, old concrete work wet first with water. Not soaking wet, just wet. We don't have a sprayer for our garden hose, so we're just getting a little bit in the bucket um, off the brush and spreading it out. And then this is the S mortar. The Portland is in it. Um, just a wet, real, real wet consistency, very thin. And, you know, it's like a milkshake. Paint. Melted frosty, yep. Paint. And then all you're doing is brushing it on. We've got this old scrub brush that we have had in our possession for years. And it's a good stiff brush, so it's real great for this. And you're just working it in, staying away a little bit from the dirt around the edges. We can go back with that. Uh, later on because the melting snow and everything and the power washing it left a lot of dirt along the edge just because it's right at the same level so yeah we'll just kind of see it how it dries and go back more if we have to So this is the final on the driveway, how it all turned out. It's been sitting here drying. It's done really good. No more major cracks. The concrete has dried up. And the Portland is kind of a temporary coating that wears off over time. So not always the best conditions for when you got to get things done. But it's done and it's in a lot better shape than it has been since I own the house. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.